Hey, hey, hello, well, and very warm well, welcome everybody. It's me, Spuds, and here we are back in Hexa Giggle for another one of our episodes. And, uh, yeah, it should be quite a fun one, this one. Good eye candy episode. Just quickly before I get into it, um, did get a little bit of a call out on the, the grade on this road, so we will be fixing this before the end of the episode. I've kind of hooked this into a road down here, which, yeah, that's far too steep, isn't it? So we'll just delete this road, and we'll bring that grade further down to meet here and uh, tidy that up a little bit <laughs> so yeah good 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 shout on the call out never be afraid to call me out if you see me do something daft folks you know we all we all we all make little uh, boo-boos in there so what are we going to be doing we are going to be coming into the new dlc the uh, hotels and resorts dlc and basically, um, as you can see, we've got like 18 and a half million in the bank of 18.6 million now. Oof, and 45 coming in, very nice. And we're just short of 30k pop, so that's a pretty decent place we're in. And because we're playing with everything unlocked, um, it means we won't have to do all the silliness of starting with a little hostel and then working our way up to the the food chain of hotels to get to the big one. We can just go straight in with the big one and then brute force the game into being happy with putting the hotels where we want them um, rather than doing the whole looking for where to go with the heat map and doing silly things like that. So yeah, we're gonna just completely tear the, tear the new DLC to, to shreds basically. So yeah, we'll have a big hotel over here, uh, the casino and some nice parks and gardens around the, the, uh, the grounds some kind of nice feature building over here i'm thinking possibly the london eye with this being a, a touristy area that could work quite well um we'll have some shops and offices going around these headlands here and the floating hotel boat hotel type thing in the, the bay here um some key work going around we'll uh, do our old sick of not neglecting the night and we'll illuminate all the keys and stuff so it all looks very pretty and stuff. So yeah, a heck of a lot to get through and stuff. And um, I'll show you the various cheeses we do in a, in a few moments once we get through the, uh, the time lapse. So I'll see you in a few moments. Right, okay, so we're back, and yeah, what can I say, I'm absolutely over the moon with how this has turned out. Um, and as you can see over here where I was thinking, we put the uh, London Eye, I changed my mind on that, I tried it various different ways, and didn't look right any of the ways I put it, so uh, yeah, we ended up going with this um, thing called the Mothership, good name for it, isn't it? And uh, we kind of turned it into kind of a nightclub type thing by adding some extra lights around it and these kind of flashing floor lights around it really really like how that turned out um i did a ferry stop over here but we're only using one side of it 
and then on this side we've used the uh, sub ben sub menu sub buildings menu and find it to fish out the um, ferry boat from the boat museum stick that alongside there a good little trick and then over on our hotels as you can see we've um, used some of the various different content creator packs for shops and what have you out the front here uh, and some parking out the front and then used um, some of the new parks that came with uh, I think it was the Japan Railways pack that came with these parks as an update I think, I'm not sure I get mixed up with what comes with what these days it was so much stuff's come out recently and uh, yeah all we've done with that is basically used um, Bob to get rid of the original trees that were in it and then hand placed some of our own used our little white picket fence and the tulips to kind of pinstripe the, the uh, edges and the pathways and stuff really helps to make an area pop that Oof. and probably my favourite bit of, of it was um, this swimming pool oh. these are kind of modular they all come in different bits these are by Sven Berlin we just recently hit the workshop like in the last week or so but they also come with the, uh, the in a separate pack you've got all these people who you can place down and the various beach towels and stuff some of them are really cool, they're showing the sheep for the kids and um, ice age there, there's the few, uh, various bits and bobs. Really, really cool set of assets though. And of course the animated swimmers which he, he released years ago. Yeah. It just brings so much light to the back of the hotel that doesn't it? Makes it feel so real and lived in. And we kind of carried the gardens up, a couple of tennis courts. A oh, nice little pagoda. I think it kind of quite colourful as well. So a little marriage spot, isn't it? So that might be kind of where they do that. Yeah. And we've got another one of these new parks again that we've used Bob on to um, get rid of the original trees and then hand plant some of our own. And then we've used a couple of these uh, water condensers that came with the African and miniature pack and uh, we turn them into a fountain with um, just an animated waterfall and then over on this side we've got the casino and then next to that we've used a couple more buildings from the Africa pack one's the National Library and this one's a communication centre but I kind of think it looks like a um, kind of a, a conference centre type thing so that, that's what we're kind of automation saying they are and then over here we've got the adults playground there with the casino we've got a one off the workshop this is from uh, speed tracks dj and i still think this is the best way uh, children's playground on the workshop by a gallop and mile again we've took out the original trees and replanted it with some more tropical stuff to meet the tone over this side We've used more stuff from the uh, African and Miniature Pack. Now these are all actually commercial buildings, but I think they kind of look like high roller villas for the uh, casino there. So that's what we're thinking of those as. And each of those got one of those little mini pools. So yeah, quite quite swish for them. Then across the way, we've got another little shopping area. Kind of, again, designer shops with the uh, King Leno Mall Park love how they come out and again bit of blending with the uh, pedestrian plazas DLC to mi mix and match right now I did mention we did some cheese and did I not so let's show you how we did the, uh, the cheesy bit if I click on this hotel <clears throat> as you can see it's all the way up to 100% and the same with the float and boat hotel quickly just go and drop well, I'll show you how we did that and leveled it up in seconds yeah, let's come into here grab our hotel nice big designer hotel slap that down checking roads yeah we've got anarchy on great 
as you can see got nothing no no boosters as yet now if i come into uh let's say what am i looking at there i'm coming to there uh parks let's say because it needs parks does it not so if i pick say a plaza now this one's got slight variations so when i overlap these you'll be able to see that they're overlapping so i'm just spam clicking there and if i come up out check back on the hotel as you can see we've already got the first one up again if i was to come pick say pick a restaurant to bring the commercial up now with this one because it's only got one version we shouldn't see any texture fighting so as you can see i just put down maybe about 20 of those all in exactly the same spot we've got no texture fighting going on or anything if i click on the hotel as you can see it's already working its way up so yeah that's how you literally break this dlc in part apart in seconds not a problem right let's get rid of all that because we don't need that anymore do we you're gone <laughs> right okie cokie that just leaves me to thank you all for watching to wish you all the best and um, to remind you to do all that good stuff like comment and subscribe and stuff it really does uh, help a video perform well the uh, the comments and likes and co stuff on the last one doubled me uh, my usual viewership so yeah it really does help and uh, enjoy the cinematics and I shall see you all for the next episode mm -hmm.